Since we know how to convert our linear equation to slope-intercept form, this is a very useful form of equation to graph a linear equation because now we can use the slope in the y-intercept in constructing the graph of our linear equation. Now, in the slope-intercept form, the formula is of the form y is equal to mx plus b, wherein m is our slope and b is our y-intercept. Now, some examples of equation of a line of the form slope-intercept form are y equals 3x plus 2 or y equals 1 half x minus 5. We can also have y equal to 2x all over 5 plus 1 or y equals negative 3 over 4x minus 6. So these are all the examples of linear equation of the form slope intercept form. Now for today we're going to learn how to graph linear equation of this form. Now this is one example of a linear equation and the graph of the linear equation with the slope given by rise over run. So this is our equation of a line and if you'll notice we have here a unit going up and unit going to the right and this is what we're going to use in graphing our equation later later on by just looking at the slope and the y-intercept we'll be able to graph the linear equation in our lesson. Now let's have our first example. On our first example, we're going to graph y is equal to 2 thirds x plus 2. Now this is in the slope intercept form because we have the slope which is 2 thirds and the y intercept which is 2. Now since 2 thirds is our slope, it is going to be the rise over run principle that we will use later on to find the second point of our equation. And the y intercept which is 2 is the first point that we're going to use in graphing our line. Now, we know that we need to have two points to construct a line, and that's what we're going to do by using the y-intercept and its slope. So the first step is to look at your y-intercept, which is positive 2. So we'll, you will use or you will plot 2 along the y-axis, because that is why it's called the y-intercept. And positive 2 is right here at positive 2 on the y-axis. Now, to find the second point of your line so that you can construct the graph of your linear equation, you will need your slope to guide you on how to find the second point. And since we have two units, which is our equation for our rise, and three, which is the term for our run or moving to the right, we'll have one, two units going up, and one, two, three units going to the right. And once you found the second point, now you can construct your line which is representing the graph of y equals 2 thirds x plus 2. And that's how simple graphing the linear equation using this form. You first need to um, plot your y-intercept and then find your second point by using your slope. Now for example number 2, I have to graph y equals negative 3 over 5x minus 3. So just like what we did on our first example, we're going to plot the first point, which is negative 3. And we're going to use the slope to find the second point. Now, make sure that you notice that this is a negative slope. And if you have a negative slope, you have a linear equation that is going down. And let's see how we graph or how we will plot the points that we will need to graph y equals negative 3 over 5x minus 3. So negative 3 for your y-intercept is somewhere here. And you have negative 3 over 5 as, as your slope. Now, since you have a negative slope, instead of going up, you are moving downwards. So you have 1, 2, 3 units going down. And you will always go to the right for your second point. So remember, you will never move to the left when you're graphing linear equation on the slope-intercept form. So we have 5 as our denominator. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, five units and this is our second point and if we connect the first point and the second point we'll be able to graph our equation of this particular equation y equals negative 3 over 5x minus 3 and that's the difference between a positive slope and a negative slope finding or graphing your linear equation you either go up or down depending on the sign of your slope and you always move to the right now let's have another example of a linear equation and how we graph them. 
For this example, we're going to graph y equals negative 3 over 5x plus 2. Now, to graph this function, we know that we can easily graph this because it's of the form slope-intercept form. Now, the first step is to look at your y-intercept, which is 2, which means we're going to plot our first point on 2 along the y-axis. Now, from the first point, we'll be able to... Uh, find our second point using our slope, which is negative 3 over 5. Since that the slope is negative, we're going to move 3 units down, 1, 2, 3, and then we're going to move 5 units to the right. Once again, remember that we are never going to move to the left because it's going to give us the wrong um, orientation of our line. So this is our second point which we will use to graph our equation. Since we have our first point which is the y-intercept and the second point which is based out of our slope, we can now connect the dot and we'll have the graph of our equation negative 3 over 5x plus 2. Now for the last example, we need to graph a certain equation but this time it's not of the form slope-intercept form. It's now in the standard form ax plus by is equal to c and the first thing that you need to do is to be able to convert your standard form which is 2x plus 3y equal to 12 into its slope-intercept form and to do that all we need to do is to isolate y. So we will need two steps to be able to isolate y in this equation. So the first step is to get rid of 2x so we subtract 2x on both sides leaving us with 3y equal to negative 2x plus 12. Now since 3 is still with y we need to get rid of them by dividing 3 on all the terms in our equation. So now we'll have y equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 4. And since it's now in the slope intercept form, we are now ready to graph our line using the same technique that we did on the first three examples. So using the slope intercept which is 4, we're going to plot our points on positive 4 along the y-axis and since the slope is negative we are going down 2 units and then we're going to move to the right 3 units. So let's have our second point using our slope. So 2 units down and 3 units going to the right and we'll have our second point. Now to connect the dot we'll have the linear equation or the graph of the linear equation of 2x plus 3y equal to 12 by converting it into the slope-intercept form. And that is how we graph our function using this technique.